What is going on, everybody? It's Jay Wilson. It is, uh, we got a couple of minutes, so I just wanted to make sure audio is good. So um, once everybody starts getting in here, I'd like to test to make sure that that is working. It's showing that there is some audio being driven through this mechanical stuff. Repeat that. So the idea for today's video is just to make sure that we understand what we're doing in terms of quarantining. So for the idea is get, get some questions together. And then once this goes solid inside of YouTube on the channel, it's really easy for you to rewatch it and leave your comment. And I do my best to answer them. KG Cichlids, Anthony's Fishy Friends, what's going on? So let me plug some stuff. Aquashella, okay? They're going to start going live on Thursdays. I don't know where. Eastern time, 7 p.m., Aquashella. I don't know what they're going to do. Sounds cool though, right? Um, I also am asking two favors. Go check out CCEUS, S-I-C-C-E-U-S on Instagram. Click follow. There's going to be a lot of cool giveaways. There's going to be a lot of participation stuff. And we're doing some really cool things live. Jay, how's COVID-19 affecting North Fin USA and shipping? It's not. Uh, it is zero effect. And if you're purchasing for the first time, you can use Jay Wilson, J-A-Y Wilson 15 to get 15% off. Or after that, thanks 10 for all other purchases at northfinusa.com. Zero effect. However, it's up to our postal carriers. But we're going to start doing this every single week, Wednesdays, 8 o'clock Eastern. Things will change because right now we're locked down with some laws, but there is no laws when you drink in the club. Shout out to all my homies. Um, so you can check out the chat. There's going to be a lot of links that are put up for you, but ideally today, not going to be super long. If you have questions, I'd love to hear them. But this is going to be in regards to quarantining. Okay. It's a perfect topic at a perfect time because I believe it to be essential in what you're doing. And I'll give you some examples from my past experiences. And then you can give me, well, I, I don't have enough room. I don't know this. I don't know that. I get it. But at the end of the day, it is ideal whenever you have an evolving fish room. So the idea of quarantining is what? Whether it's for fish, humans, or any other animal, the idea is to hold into an isolated area. I'm making up this definition, by the way. To hold in an isolated area before you move that specific living creature into a general population. And the idea is to hold it for a certain amount of time to make sure that that living creature for the sake of talk is fish right now, is free of any type of illness. Fish comes from Asia, Europe, Africa, comes all the way over and lands smack dab at a wholesaler. Do we think the wholesaler is quarantining this animal? The likelihood, probably not. It's a money game. Then that fish goes to the retail outlet. Do they quarantine? I know some that do. I know some that, that take all the precautions. And then you get this fish and you put it right into your tank. So let's think about that for a second. Keeping your quarantine tank six feet away from the other tanks at all times. Okay. There's no, there's no restriction of keeping your aquarium a certain distance from another aquarium. But the idea is you don't want any equipment impeding with any of your general population aquariums, right? So that's the idea is anything that's used for this quarantine aquarium is not, I repeat, is not going to be used in any of your other general population aquariums unless, unless you have a, a, a sanitizing method that you're using each and every time and you cannot lax on this. And you're, it's going to require a couple different nets and, and let's say you're using tongs or scrapers or algae scrubbers or whatever. Anything could be transferred. So the idea, of quarantine, the idea of quarantining is kind of a few things for fish keepers. It's to protect our asset, right? Because we, we purchased this animal. 
And then the other idea is we don't want to spread potential issues to all of our other fish that we've spent a lot of money on or shrimp or oxalotls or whatever it is we're keeping coral. It doesn't matter. The quarantining process should be there. Now with coral, there's a lot of dips. You can do this whole thing. Hey, jarhead old sailor here, very fish proud. <laughs> uh, so thank you all for joining. We're talking about quarantining and I'd like to hear some of your stories that I can help you know, tie into what we're talking about. So let me give you an example. I had said, this this will never happen to me, right? This will never happen to me. Matter of fact, I got this sweet aquarium right here that we'll talk about. But look at that. But the idea for quarantining for me was, yeah, okay, I'm going to set up this, this, this fish tank. And, and when I say this, if you're setting up an aquarium for the first time, the idea of quarantining is those fish are coming together. They're probably going to be sick already. Um, or if they aren't into the new issues and that's not good. Does that make sense? So the first time you're setting up an aquarium, if you can do it right away, set up a quarantine, get those fish in there, get them, get them acclimated to, to what you're doing and then get them into that new aquarium. But if you can't the first time with zero inhabitants, you can, you can ideally put those, those fish in there. Um, you're just going to have to treat that, that aquarium as your quarantine aquarium if something should transpire, right? So anything new now from there should be quarantined properly. Um, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. The, the weird part about it is it's hit or miss. If you're setting up a 220 gallon aquarium, that's not, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, so J and N aquarium said, I've had to spend hundreds of dollars on meds and big losses because of no quarantine with some new fish lesson learned. That's exactly what happened to me. So what happened to me was I had my 220 gallon aquarium. I got excited to get these big haps and peacocks put into that aquarium. And then and I did a video on it and guess what? I trusted the source, which is, is not always the best idea, right? And trusting that source, I put those fish in. And I would say within 10 days, it was like catastrophic. I had Calminaris and it was spreading quickly. And I had to start just taking fish out and treating. I was treating with Marison. I was treating with Marison too, because I didn't understand what it was right away. And I lost a lot of money in fish. About half that aquarium was gone. And I will never, ever, ever have that issue happen again because I will quarantine. Now I've set up a lot of nano tanks here in my apartment, uh, but I will be moving here shortly, very shortly, mind you. So I'll have a nice little setup. It'll be much easier to work with and I'll have a better live streaming. I don't want to say show because it's not a show. I like to give information and I want to have fun chatting with you. The feed on my end keeps buffering. Now it dropped out. Same here. Um, I had the same issue and Leva Masile, I don't even know how to pronounce that, is the only good method. So if you're buffering right now in terms of this feed, refresh, I've got a pretty strong signal, uh, but also it, it could be dropping out. I, I don't know, and I apologize. I'm not the technical guy right now, and I seem to be having issues, whether I'm hitting Instagram, Facebook, doesn't matter. So watching my geophagus spawn while watching. Now, isn't that awesome? So the idea of quarantine, to stop the spread of some issue, which is what we are doing as humans right now. The idea is don't come in contact with large numbers of people or even small numbers of people and it'll be okay. We can slow the movement of some issue. And that is exactly what we do in the aquarium industry. So while you're, you may be complaining and you may be upset about what we're doing, the idea is we're just trying to slow down or mitigate that potential issue from, from continuing to spread to 100%, right? That's the idea. We want to slow it. So when you think about where these fish come from, let's say they're wild caught. Think about that stress that is on that animal coming from its wild location to the trans shipper to the retail outlet or directly to the person that purchased them. That sucks for that fish, right? Have you ever done a 12 hour flight, 15 hour flight with some layovers and some stops? 
That really sucks. And if we're talking about cichlids and it's wild, they're stopping in Dar Salaam, right? And they're, they're, they're hanging out for maybe a day, maybe a few hours, maybe a few days, and then boop, back into bags, back into trucks. And then what? And then to the airport and then to its place, its first destination. And hopefully no layovers and delays. It's a lot of stress. And when we're stressed, our immune system comes down. And when our immune system comes down, whether we were sick or not at that point, we become susceptible to a lot of issues. So I'm moving to six foot tank so I can stay far. <laughs> this guy moving to a six foot tank. We quarantine our fish, but it's pet. I'm not sure what that means. It's alien when we do it on a larger scale. Maybe that's a cool new word. Um, I quarantine because I learned the hard way. Yeah, that's that's the idea. Dedicated net buckets and siphon to that specific quarantine tank. I mean, that's what you have to do. Um, relieve stress, get them eating, acclimate to the water while not getting there. But, you know, that's the idea is when you quarantine, you got to slow down that process. If you put them in this large system with other fish, everybody's stressed. So just slow it down. Keep it just nice and easy and don't don't mess with the fish's stress. And I don't want to hear that you don't have space because a lot of us are not buying hundreds of fish at one time. We can have a 20 gallon or a 40 gallon breeder tucked away running or ready to run when we know we're going to purchase. And I would say that there's probably a very small percentage that goes, man, Tiger King on Netflix was pretty litified. I'm going to order 500 fish right now. Clackety clack, 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 clack. And then they go right in and order those fish. That's not happening, right? That's not, that's not happening on a scale where we need to even talk about it. It's more so, hmm, I really want to set up that aquarium. And these are the fish that I'd like to get. So we give ourselves some time. Go purchase those fish. Start the setup of that aquarium. Set up that aquarium. Go purchase those fish. And like Kevin said, maybe pay a little extra for overnight shipping. Hey, Jay, does bacteria reproduce slower in marine systems over freshwater? No. Now, bacteria will reproduce based on what bacteria it is at different times. So that's a whole nother subject we can talk about. But bacteria will grow at a rate that is necessary to achieve what it needs to achieve. And that's consuming whatever that specific bacteria is consuming. And for somebody to say, well, back, bad bacteria is taking over, that, that only means that you had fish that were susceptible because their immunity was down and that bad bacteria was just waiting. It's opportunistic. So water quality, alkalinity, oxygenation, and food source is going to determine the amount of uh, the, the rate of reproduction of that specific bacteria. Um, you ordered 500 fish at one time, I remember. Yes, I did. 500 tetras. I did, uh, but I didn't go clackety clack, clack, clack. I'm going to order 500 fish and I wasn't watching Tiger King. So that is definitely, is that a white claw, black cherry? Oh yes. I am only black cherry, white claw. Matter of fact, this one's done. And while we're waiting for that quarantine, white claw it is. This is not sponsored by the way. These are just tasty. So. The idea is we need to quarantine. We need to quarantine because we don't want to learn the hard way. That, that's it, folks. That, that's really the idea. So what's a good size quarantine tank? Honestly, in my opinion, you're not, you're not buying. It's probably smaller cichlids, maybe a six-inch peacock and half, and you're, maybe you're buying a couple of them. So a 15-gallon. 20 gallon. Perfect. Sponge filter running in a closet, running in a garage, running tucked away. Build yourself a little, you know, something around your current aquarium where that thing is running all the time. And just don't use anything that you would use in the main aquarium in that quarantine aquarium. I mean, that is the idea. So 15 to 20 gallons, I think you'll be fine. If you're, if you're really building up a room, then it's probably going to be temporary until you get that room built for breeding, right? So then you'd probably get maybe a tub, a couple tubs, and you can get those off of 
you know, anywhere you can get used stuff off of or buy them new from a tractor supplier, whatever the case is. Um, so do me a favor, hit the like button, share this video. And this is new. I'm not expecting this to blow up like anybody else uh, in terms of live feed. I'm literally trying to get back to what I know. And I fell off that wagon because of personal issues. And that will be changing. I promise you that. I'm going to have a dedicated, a dedicated area to doing live streams. We'll have my big aquariums back. Personal things have taken a hold and I'll discuss that at a later time. So quarantine, get it done, helps the spread. But let's talk about this hot rod real quick because I don't know if you've ever seen this, but this bad boy is a model truck aquarium. I want to put a bed in here and I want to show you this. We got some sweet lit backgrounds to look like <laughs> canisters, Connex boxes that sit on the back. And Liam's going to love this. You know, he hasn't really seen it. I talked to him about it. He said he wanted to play with it. But this, look at this, right? Perfect for a betta. Maybe some shrimp instead of a betta. I don't know yet, but this, this is ideal, right? It's plastic. It's got an area for the tube. I'll probably run a, a small sponge filter in here. But seriously, look at this. Rubber tires <laughs> and a truck cab. It doesn't get better than this. I mean, this is fun. This is, this is really fun. And the rubber tires really set the cake. You, you put, you run everything through here. There's absolute open for the pump. It's, it's going to be really cool. And then you just simple as this. <laughs> this is ridiculous, but ridiculously fun when it comes to playing with aquariums and having, you know, a three-year-old already loves shrimp really get into something like this. So look forward to setting this up and having some really great fun. So quarantine your fish, have fun. I'm not putting an Oscar in it, but be smart about what you do, right? And, I, and I'm going to leave you with a little bit of motivation. Big J's fish keeper, you came at the right time. You got to stay focused on what it is that you are doing, what it is that you need to achieve. And we all go through issues. I don't undermine them. I don't detract from them. We all do. And we all have people that will run their mouths. They'll tell you, well, you know, I'm just not the type to be spreading no gossip around here. But they're the first ones to jump in and do it, right? And they may be tied directly to you. They may be a friend. They may be a significant other. Or they just may be an acquaintance. But the idea is if you are focused, if you are driven to what you need to achieve, their mouth running and, and them trying to gravitate people to their, their personal problem or their personal issue that really has no really has no meaning towards what they're trying to achieve. Let, let, for, for me, example, if I'm trying to set up a new aquarium and I need help, I'm not going to be like, well, the water bill shut off because the man shut it down and now I got no hot water to start my aquariums. Now, let me tell you about this. Comment down below if you have a problem with your water company, right? Lisa, John, Eric, Bob, Sue, I know you having a problem. Let's spread the word. Right? This had nothing to do with setting up the aquarium, right? But let's say it's a personal issue, right? There's no reason to try to propagate anything because all it will do is detract from what you ultimately want, setting up an aquarium in this instance. So just like a racehorse, put on your blinders, train like crazy, and go after what you want. And you know, I've got somebody saying, you sounded like the dude from, <laughs> from Paradise PD. I've never seen it. Um, until he takes it outside and runs it down the street. Oh, I'm not running this down the street yet. Maybe I should. Maybe I should tow it, right? I'll pull it and we'll see how well everything does inside. We're not going to do that. We, we don't want to do that. 
The idea is we're all going to go through personal issues. I'm going through major personal issues, major, major personal, major personal change. But it's mine. And there's going to be outside folks running their mouth that may have been inside. And they may have, you know, they may be trying to detract from what I'm trying to achieve. And that's me trying to achieve the best possible version of me. And I'll always do that. I don't care what anybody says. I'll always do that. And I'll make mistakes along the way. I'll stub my toe. I'll I'll fall flat on my face. But the idea is to never, never make those same mistakes ever again. That's it. And so I'm not. I got a new career with CJ, March 1st. I left on a really great high note with Fritz. I'm really rocking in what I'm doing. I'm going to focus back into what I enjoy doing, and that's keeping fish and, and, and aquatic wildlife. I've got vivariums on the ready. I've got a new aquarium sitting in there getting ready to go back into the house because I'm going back into my house. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. The six-foot cichlid tank's coming back. The um, geophagus tank, folks, I don't even know what these tanks look like. I have no idea. Set it up, Tim Allen style. (laughs) I don't know what it's going to be like, but we're going to get back into it. We're going to do it with positive energy like we always do, and we're going to attack each and every obstacle the same way. Positivity in, negativity out. We turn on the positivity faucet, and we focus in on what we got to do. So whether it's hitting 30,000, which I I don't even know what I am right now, but do me a solid, subscribe, share this, help me get to 30,000, help me bring this channel to where it truly should have been if I didn't take so many personal hiatuses. But at the same time, this isn't a job for me. It's fun. And I, I tip my hat to those that make this a career because it's hard. It's a grind, but it's a fun outlet sometimes. So Do yourself a favor, stay quarantined for a little bit, enjoy yourself, follow some amazing people on YouTube, Candy Overhauls, thanks, Cunningham Cichlids, KG Cichlids, follow some great people. You've got Serpa Design, the King of DIY, KG Tropicals, Cunningham Cichlids, KG Cichlids, you've got Flip Aquatics, you've got Fritz Aquatics, you've got I mean, coral fish. Tw- There's so many people. I'm leaving it out. Friday fish facts. Um, oh my goodness, I'm leaving people out, and and I hope that you don't get upset. But more importantly, have fun with what you do. Stay away from people five or more. Have fun with your family. Create some new stuff, and I'll see you next Wednesday because I got to do some moving. I got to move all these tanks, and um, yeah. Stay tuned to some really cool vivarium stuff. Going to be setting up a new 75-gallon aquarium from Neptunian Cube. And I've got to do something with this saltwater tank. I'll show some stuff on Instagram, but i got to do something different. Uh, The Cichlid Shack, I hope he's doing well. You know, a lot of folks shop small. Shop small businesses. Instead of running out to your big box retailers, hit people like saltwateraquarium.com, freshwateraquarium.com, your Cichlid Shacks, your... You know, your, your wet spots, your co-ops, your flip aquatics, your, your North Fin USAs, you got to shop local. They're online, they're delivering it to your door, and that's what's, what it's all about. So, folks, there's no laws with the White Claws. Jay Wilson will now be live every Wednesday, 8 o'clock Eastern time, locked in, sweat alone with the fish, the cichlid shack's doing his thing, KJE Aquatics, they're all there. They're all there to help you. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay focused, stay motivated. Until next time, you know what's next. Aha!